Hi guys, so I wanted to show you what I was cooking tonight for dinner. Really quick meal. Um, I have white rice cooking in my rice cooker, my ancient rice cooker. <laughs> we got it for our bridal shower in 1997. Oh my God, could you believe it? So it's gonna be 20 years old this year. Anyway, it hasn't failed me, so no need to replace it. Um, I have medium grain white rice cooking in there, which um, is pretty, it's the grain type of Goya rice, so that's the rice I grew up with. Uh, I've tried the long grain and the masmati and the, the jasmine and everything, and my kids and my husband like the medium grain because that's what I've been doing for a long time. So no need to venture out and stick to other things. I stick to my regular trustees medium grain rice. And then I'm going to make Puerto Rican beans with sauce to go with the rice. So I have pinto beans, which I rinsed and drained. Um, I'm using pinto because that's what I had in the pantry. I do have black beans, but the kids don't like black beans. I, just, I don't know why. Um, but they are delicious. But I got the pinto. I usually like to use uh, pink beans, but that's not what I have. I mean, the pinto is almost the same thing, but that's what I have rinsed and drained. I have tomato sauce and I have avocado oil, which I'm cooking chicken with. Um, and for the Puerto Rican rice, uh, the beans actually, I have sofrito. So I have that in my freezer and I'll pull that out. But in the freezer, I had some bags of chicken marinated in, I believe it's some kind of garlic herb blend. I should have wrote it on the bag and I didn't. But usually my husband grills it, but he's not here right now, so I'm pan cooking it. And I have it here on the skillet. Um, so that's what we're gonna have for dinner. We're gonna have some pan cooked garlic herbed chicken, Puerto Rican beans with white rice. So I'll show you how I put the beans together. So here are the beans. They're in a pot with tomato sauce. Uh, normally, the Puerto Rican beans are made from dried beans, which are soaked overnight and then kind of boiled for a few hours until they get soft. And then the water, you know, pretty much turns the color of the beans and you add a little bit of tomato sauce. Um, you know, everything reduces and gets, but I'm cheating. So I had canned beans. I don't have time for the dried beans right now. So there's a more of a tomato sauce base to it than normally. Um, I'll put a little water to dilute that. And then here I have in my freezer bag, ice cubes of sofrito. And what sofrito is, it's basically the, the seasoning that a lot of Puerto Rican stews and sauces are made of. Um, trying to open this up for you. So I apologize. I also apologize because I'm having difficulty talking today. I don't know why. So, oh, and the bag was open. Go figure. So sofrito is made with garlic, green peppers. Here I go. See, these are little ice cubes. Garlic, green peppers, onions, um, cilantro, and... In the Puerto Rican culture, there's two other ingredients. They call them ají dulces, ajícito dulces, which means small sweet chili peppers, and um, culantro, which is like cilantro on steroids. Amazing. But here in Tennessee, I do not have access to get the ajícito dulces, and I don't have the culantro. So I do put in extra, um, I put in extra cilantro to, you know, make it strong. And then I actually put in some red peppers since red peppers are a little sweeter than green peppers. So I actually, you know, trying to get the sweetness of the ajicito dulces, I put in the red bell peppers as well as the green. Um, not as many because I didn't want it to turn brown. You know, red and green turns brown, but a little bit. So I pretty much add these right in. Um, this small pot, I guess there'll be four. You know what, let's put five in, since I'm gonna add a little bit of water to it. And I actually have to make more sofrito. Sorry, I'm trying to look through my camera. I actually have to make some more sofrito in the future because I'm actually running low on that. So um, let me just come over here and flip the chicken. Um, so being that I grew up in a New Yorkian household, I mean, literally, it was rice and beans 
almost every day for dinner. And then when I married my husband, he's like, oh my God, I have never eaten so much rice in my life because I figured dress rice with everything. And eventually I had to learn how to make pasta and potatoes and stuff. Um, but this is the staple. Uh, it took me a long time to, you know, cook Puerto Rican. Strangely enough, my family loves more Italian food. You would think we're Italian in this house, but we're not. And um, Puerto Rican food, it's just probably once a month I get that itch for it and got to cook it. So um, let's get this simmering and then I'll show you the rest of it. There are the beans. They're steaming up. You can see the steam. I actually had to put a little water in it because the tomato sauce was really thick. So I watered it down with water. And then what I do is I add a splash of white vinegar. It gives it a little zing. And that's about it. Um, gives it a little tang, a little zing. Adds a little, you know, something, something to to the beans and I got my chicken almost done and I also roasted some zucchini with um, oh I used that onion salt I'll show you I used the onion salt from Trader Joe's with some avocado oil and I roasted it at 425 for probably 35 to 40 minutes it smelled so good I might have overcooked it a little bit oh, but it smells delicious. And, and then the white rice over here is still cooking. So when it's all done, I'll plate it up and we are gonna eat. Hello? And there you have it. We have the pan cooked chicken, garlic chicken, some leftover broccoli, and well, this is Sean's plate because he doesn't like zucchini. And white rice with mostly bean sauce. Hi. Just a few beans. So enjoy, honey. Love you. Delicious. Yeah. Peace. And that's my plate with the zucchini. So I hope you guys have a great night. I hope you enjoyed this meal that we're going to eat. And we'll see you soon. Bye.